Hello, hello, I'm Steph and I help health coaches grow online. Are you sick and tired of running your business as a side hustle? Are you ready to turn your passion into profit? If so, listen up. Today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top five tips for the solopreneur. What does that even mean? That means you, you are your business, you are your brand, you don't have a team, and you are it. So top five tips for my wonderful business owners that are running the show. Maybe you can't afford to outsource. Maybe you don't want to outsource. Maybe you want to do everything yourself. So whether you are running your business part-time or you're running it full-time, this video is going to be awesome for you. I'm going to share with you my top five tips for the solopreneur. All right, so before we dive into the tips, confidence, I wanted to put it as a tip, but I didn't because kind of a hard one, right? Confidence. So we need the confidence, but how do we get it? So before we dive into the top five tips, I'm just going to share with you a little bit on confidence. So the number one thing I see with health coaches that they struggle with is confidence. So how do we build it up? Um, you got to build authority. So as with social media, it's a fine line between building authority and being people's friends, right? So with your confidence, the only way to build it up is to start practicing. And the easiest way, if you're in the health industry, which I know a lot of you guys are, is start to practice and teach on one specific thing. Because if we try to teach on everything, we feel like we maybe know, don't know the answers. But could you imagine if you taught on one thing and you, you become the expert? So that's just a little bit on confidence. So let me know in the comments if confidence is holding you back. I know a lot of the health coaches that I work with, it's what's keeping them stuck and it's what's keeping them um, from growing their business. So the top five tips, I'm gonna tell you them really quick and then I'll go into detail. So if you can't stick around, um, the replay will be up in Work Smarter Not Harder, my free community group on Facebook, come on over the link in my bio on Instagram and I'll connect it up on Facebook. All right, so really quick before I go into detail, the top five tips. Number one is collaboration. I built my health brand on collaboration as a solopreneur. I never hired anyone, but I had multiple partnerships and collaborate collaboration. So that's tip number one. You want to collaborate with other business owners and guest post, guest blog, create programs together. Um, number two, and we're going to go into details. I'm just rapid firing them in case you got to go. Number two is uh, find your desire, find your unfair advantage and your niche. Number three, action and getting shit done is better than perfection. Hands down. How many of you guys have been stuck in content creation mode and then you never get anything launched? I know I was stuck in content creation mode for seven years. <laughs> and the moment I pressed live, the moment I just stepped into action without worrying about being perfect, my business grew. Number four, consistency. Consistency is key. Your audience likes consistency. You, as a human, love consistency, routine, habit. Uh, number five, utilizing systems and f uh, to free up your time. So if you are doing everything yourself and you're not willing to outsource, then you must automate. You must use systems and leverage. Okay, so we'll go into detail in all those. Um, and then I've got a little bonus um, tip at the end there is... Um, to celebrate. We're perfectionists. We are high achievers. We often get shit done like crazy and then move on to the next without celebrating. So celebration is very, very important. If you don't do it, you will burn out. You will find yourself low and not wanting to continue on in your business. You must celebrate all of your successes no matter how small they are. All right, let's get into details. So let me know if you are a solopreneur. Tag me in your business pages. Um, Post them and work smarter, not harder. It's our free community group where um, we go live for the first time. I help business coaches, health coaches um, grow online. So if you haven't joined us, come on over, work smarter, not harder, or send me a message for the direct link. So right now I'm actually in a launch and if you click my bio link or in and around my Facebook page here, I've been training on launch strategies and giving you guys behind the scenes of what I do in a launch. So I teach health coaches a four-step system to quit their day job. It's exactly what I did. And step number four is launching. And often we don't want to do that. We don't want to ask for the sale. And we don't want to follow up with people. We don't want to bug people. So my Instagram stories is where I've been posting the behind the scenes. It's actually under the highlight button as well. And something that I did different this time around is I did creative writing in the morning to really... Um, get stuff out of my head onto paper and fill up before I say share content or um, have clarity calls with people. So 
often as solopreneurs, we wake up and we're not feeling awesome. And then we just turn on the computers and expect our business to run or expect ourselves to want to do business. So that is um, huge is, is having a morning routine. So let's, let's dive into this. So number one, collaboration. Um, how you can do this is you can partner with people to create programs, partner with people simply to guest post, partner with people, um, so that you can collaborate with your specific zones of genius. So you want to stay in your unfair advantage and they stay in theirs, but it's, um, beneficial to both your, both of your audiences. So you definitely want to have, um, not the same niche, but similar clients. So f- for instance, if you're in nutrition, you could collaborate with someone in fitness. Um, and what this does is it you can leverage each other's platforms. And I also have a team of 20 ambassadors. So I grew Nourish and I had my own private sales team through my ambassador team. So I didn't hire a sales team, but I had one because I collaborated with health coaches and wellness junkies that really wanted to get free stuff and try my stuff out. And it's like affiliate marketing. You're you're trying it out yourself and then sharing it with your audience. So I do believe that that is one of the huge reasons why Nourish um, was a success and is a success when I was doing it all by myself because I really didn't feel like I was doing it by myself, yet I wasn't paying anybody or, or um, having employees because I know as a business owner at the start, that's really nervous. Maybe you never want to have employees. Maybe you always want to just collaborate and do affiliates and all of that. So number two, your desire, your niche, and your unfair advantage. If you're unsure how to do this, I have a free workbook in our community group. It's under the files tab. If you can't find it, uh, comment below, send me a message, I'll get you the link. And this really helps you to get clear on who you are, who you help, and your specific niche because in the health industry, you will get nowhere if you want to solve the world's problems and help on everything. So here's the problem. A lot of us, uh, myself included, in the past, we get all these credentials thinking that we're going to be more qualified, we can charge more, we're going to get more clients, we go back to school, and you're in the same position. It just doesn't work. What does work is becoming an expert in a specific area within health and wellness and when you think that you've niched down, niche down some more. So I'm in the in the process of actually niching down even more. Uh, for the past year, I've been branding with I help health coaches grow online. That's pretty broad. <laughs> so I've asked all of my previous students what they think my unfair advantage is or what I'm really good at. And I'm going to use that information to niche down even further. I'm a full believer that as business owners, you might think you're good at everything, but there's people that are better and you are really good at specific things. And if you're a high achiever, you can do everything. You can build your website. You can do everything. But is it worth your time? Is it going to fill you up or drain you? So often as business owners, we can do everything. But just because you can doesn't mean you should. Um, so that's number two is really find your unfair advantage and be so specific. So if you need help niching down, uh, send me a message. I'll get you the worksheet and we'll get you practicing and it really doesn't have to be your niche for life the whole point of business and life is it's an experiment so you get to experiment and the beautiful thing um, about launching or um, doing the four-step process that I offer is you get to try a niche out and then decide if you love it or don't and you don't have to stick with it for life and um, nine times out of ten we get more specific and more specific and when you have no authority in your industry be super specific. The more authority you get, the less specific you have to be. Um, because nobody wants to open up their cart and have crickets. And let me know if you've been there. I've been there in the past when I just think that, you know, oh, I'm going to spend all this time on this ebook and post it and then nobody buys. So that's not the way it works, especially nowadays with online marketing and um, the, the social media world. You really have to be specific. Think about what you buy in a store. It's very specific. You know exactly what you want. Um, So if you need help niching down, let me know. Uh, Tip number three, action and getting stuff done is better than perfect. Hands down, imperfection is perfection. I just scrolled through my old videos on YouTube. They're ridiculous and that's okay. And um, every person that I listen to, I just listened to a podcast episode this morning and Pat Flynn, he admitted to like his first podcast sucked that makes sense but a lot of us don't get started because we're nervous so one of the major things that 
uh, helped me take my business from struggling to thriving was pressing a live button. So live video for me was huge. And I know it's nerve wracking. So if you're nervous to go live, I do a free go live for five challenge in my Facebook group. Everything's in there. Um, I can help you go live for the first time. We can collaborate, tip number one, and um, do a video together so that you can be in front of my audience. Um, so action and getting stuff done is better than perfection, hands down. And if you know this, but you're really having a hard time pressing live on your website or the live video or um, publishing something, come on over. Support is huge. You'll notice other people doing it and getting success. So um, that's normal if you're nervous and you want to get it uh, perfect because usually as business owners, we're high achievers, we're perfectionists. So that's something that we actively have to um, move past. Number four, consistency is key. Absolutely. Whenever I'm in a launch, I make sure to consistently show up with valuable content. And it's a foolproof, bailproof method. The law of reciprocity, you provide education, entertainment. People want to stick around. The more often they see your face, the more likely they are to purchase. Online, people will only purchase stuff if they like, know, and trust you. So how do you do that? You show up consistently. You share your story. Um, and if you're working full-time, consistency could mean once a week. It doesn't have to be every day. Um, consistency could mean... I know when I first started, it was... A weekly newsletter and newsletters are kind of old news because people generally don't really opt into stuff as much and the um, read their emails so if you're willing to you could capitalize on Instagram stories and live because you want to be where people are hanging out people aren't hanging out on your website people aren't hanging out on um, in their inbox they're most of the time dreading their inbox or just like what I do I just delete everything I don't even really read all of my emails that I've signed up to. So I would really recommend if you're going to pick one thing, if you're overwhelmed and you want to get consistently in front of your audience, Instagram stories and Facebook lives and within Facebook, do a Facebook group over um, anything else. Okay. So number five, utilize systems and free up your time. So as a business owner, the last thing we want you to do is get burnt out. Um, that's no fun. And that's not um, sustainable. So what you want to do is you want to use social media as a 24 hour salesperson. You want to automate your systems. You do not want to be scheduling your clients in or potential clients. You need an online scheduler that frees up so much time. It makes you look professional. So tip number one, if you're going to do anything right now, grab the free one. It's called Calendly. Um, it makes you look more professional. You can set up your calendar and easily send people links rather than wasting your time back and forth, trying to set up a time to chat. Um, other automated systems that you could do are opt-in sales funnels. Um, and these don't have to be fancy. These can be through organic reach. You don't have to pay for ads. Um, one of the things that I used to build my business was organic reach over paid advertisements. So, um, what this does is this gets your audience to get to see you and you're really just funneling them. So you're giving them some information that's amazing and you're funneling them into a Facebook group or you're funneling them into a list and then re-marketing or you're reintroducing something to them that is in alignment with exactly why they signed up and something specific to what they need or the problem that you're solving. Um, so you can set up a really simple sales funnel through social media with all free platforms if you wish. Um, that's something too as a solo opener. I know you guys are nervous to invest in something. So if you don't know what to invest in software wise and business wise, hands down a business coach. That was huge for me. Um, you want to hire someone who is where you want to be in a year. You don't want to hire someone who's where you want to be in 10 years because that's a little bit too uh, much of a gap. I do believe um, you could do a mastermind with somebody like that. But if you're hiring a personal coach, I would recommend uh, hiring someone closer to where you're at. Um, I've, talk to a lot of people and I've heard that they're intimidated or they they join these courses with these seven figure earners or these people who are way ahead of them and it just it's like they don't speak the same language so if you don't know where to put your money put it into a mastermind um, if you don't have very much to invest or if you have a little bit more to invest definitely a coach when I hired my business coach um, I actually wanted to quit my business and after just four months of working with her I had a signature offer I um successfully launched that signature offer and made $5,000, which was huge for me, 5,000 in a month on my business when I was working full-time in a different job. So 
Um, and I truly don't believe I, I think I would have quit nourish and quit my business if I didn't hire that business coach. So hands down before you, um, invest in software, waste your money on websites, waste your money on all sorts of stuff, hire a coach, hire a mentor, um, who's done exactly what you vision. Um, so a little, little bonus. Those were the fives there, five tips, um, celebrate. Often we forget to celebrate and you are your brand. So above all, you have to take care of yourself. So your morning and evening routines are a priority. And I would, I would say don't even jump online. Don't even share your beautiful soul with anyone until you've filled yourself up. Um, so that's the extra tip is you, if you are a solopreneur, you are your brand, you must take care of yourself first um, and foremost. And coming from the health world, um, of teaching people how to take care of themselves, put themselves first. Um, as a business owner, yes, it's important to eat healthy and exercise and da da da. But as a business owner, I would say your your biggest priority is taking care of your mind because it's so easy um, to want to quit and business goes up and down and up and down. And if you um, could do anything, it would be to um, work on your healthy state of mind through positive affirmations, audios. Um, again, hiring a coach that's going to lift you higher because a lot of the time. Um, people don't succeed in business because they just quit or they get distracted or they get scared. And, um, that's what a coach or a mentor does is they keep you on track and focused. Um, and how I personally do it is with four step process, um, to success that I walk coaches through these exact four steps that I did to quit my day job. So it's super simple. It gives you enough structure that you feel contained enough um, and you know, it's a foolproof way. So that, again, it's coming back to that confidence. If you know, it's going to work, your messaging is going to come off so much stronger when, with, with your client and communication. And a lot of the time when I'm working with coaches, they are nervous about what they're charging. And then if I'm on the other end saying, oh yeah, you can, you can charge that. No problem. Um, I did, or so-and-so did, and you have to keep in alignment with your industry standards and all of these things to raise your confidence in your prices and your program in your posts, everything, um, is very important. So the four step process that I teach on, I'm going to run through it really quick. If you want the full free training comment below, I'll get you the details. So I've got one more seat for my 90 day growth plan. I take coaches on three coaches on every 90 days, sorry, every quarter for 90 days. So June, July, August, if you want to make your health coaching business, your full-time job by September, 2018, grab that last seat. It's 549 a month. If you Pay it all at once. You save about, uh, about 300 bucks um, through, I have on my site, you can grab a 10% off code. So if that's you, if you're ready to take your business full time, maybe you've been in it for two to five years, you're sick and tired of running your business as a side hustle, you want to turn your passion into your actual income, um, listen up. So the four steps really quick, uh, clear clutter, niche down, create your financial action plan, and then launch. So that's what we do over the 90 days. There's six coaching calls. Every two weeks we jump on for for an hour. I record those calls so you can rewatch them if you want to. And when you listen to your own voice and listen to what you're saying, it's, there's potential for huge growth. Um, so that's what we do. And we specifically use social media channels um, to do so. So if you know that you're missing out ton in your business um, by not capitalizing in social media, definitely check it out. Comment below, I'll grab you the details. And that last seat is yours if you're a health coach and you are sick and tired of running your business as a side hustle, you're ready to take it full time, you're serious, you're ready to invest in your business, and you know you need a mentor, you know you need the support, um, you want to create your signature offer, and you really want to explode online with a specific signature offer and a specific launch by the end of the 90 days. A, a little bonus um, with that is I've been a solo entrepreneur my whole career. So little things that you might have to pay someone for, I can actually just help through the coaching. So an example of that, $2,000 website, you don't have to do that. I can help you set one up if you don't have one um, on one of our calls. And there's little things like that that are a huge advantage. I've been in the health industry, so I have a huge community of people who love health information. So again, I love helping health coaches because as we sell out of your program, we can actually use the communities I've um, nurtured and for the past years, and we can use that to offer your program. Um, so that's another bonus of working with me if you are a health coach, so a nutritionist, um, RHN, dietitian, yoga teacher, fitness instructor. Those have been my past clients. I do love working with um, energy workers as well, and 
Um, basically, anyone in the health and wellness space that's coaching and you've been doing it for a couple of years, so you know that there's more to this online juiciness and you're sick and tired of seeing all these posts of create a life you love and you know you're confused and scattered and you just don't know where to start that is who my program's perfect for all right guys thanks for watching if you missed the training videos on how to launch and what to do for your pre-launch they're under the video tab and work smarter not harder they're also on my youtube channel which on instagram everything under my bio link there i have a youtube channel with a ton of trainings and it always uploads the most recent ones if you can't ever find anything, send me a message. I'm not scary. I'm here to help you grow online. And I really do. Um, I found my passion because I, for years, coached on nutrition. I was good at it. I had all the education. But honestly, until I started teaching health coaches how to create that own freedom, I never felt that fulfillment. So as soon as I switched niches and I've automated my health business, so it still runs and I can still use it as leverage and all my ambassadors um, can leverage what I've created. Um, but honestly, I, I didn't ever feel fulfillment within my nutrition business. And the moment that I started coaching health coaches and helping people um, get out of that burnt out mode and into success, I felt that true fulfillment. And I think it's, I know it's because it's my own story. I was burnt out. I was scattered. I wanted to quit my business. I yo-yoed for years. It was a side hustle for years. So that's what true success to me means is actually teaching on your fulfillment. So I was making all the money in the world as a food rep. I could have stayed in that salary position for the rest of my life, had a great mat leave, everything. And I decided not to because I am a high achiever and I knew there was more. Um, so that's when I jumped into running my health business full time and I loved it. And honestly, the day I cracked the code and figured out really how to make it a full time income, I switched niches. I was like, oh, if I can do this with something that I'm not even passionate about, imagine what I could do with something that I'm passionate about. So that's my story. I'm Steph. I help health coaches grow online. If you're sick and tired of running your business as a side hustle, if you're ready to turn your passion into profit, let's grow. My 90 day growth plan is perfect for you. I have one more seat for this quarter. We run June, July, August, and by September, 2018, you are full blown into your business. We've done your launch. You're fully supported. So if you're ready to screw the nine to five to quit your day job, let's grow.